All right, hello everybody, Don the Crown here, back with another Torchlight information video. And so this season they added a, something that's really neat and it is called the auto switch settings for pack spirits. And I believe this is only available if you buy the battle pass. So if you wanna have this, you have to click this, you have to buy it. But basically what this does, if you click this button here, it allows you to set particular pack spirit plans for particular actions. So like when you enter the clockwork belay, I'm switching to my cog work setup. And then after completing it, I'm going back to money because you don't actually need to keep your clockwork uh, set up out. And then whenever I go into a map, I'm going into money. Uh, I don't have the dark surge pet. Otherwise I'll put the dark surge set up here. Uh, if I had stuff for pirates, I could put that there or the cube. I have the city set up. So I put those in there. If I go into a nightmare, put my nightmare set up. I don't really have any other setups for all of these. I do have Mistville. And whenever I go into a Supreme boss, like a plane watcher, traveler, great void boss, I have it set up for DPS. Cause I'm pretty sure that when you go in there, the only thing that can affect their drops is uh, Kong or any of the card duplicators. So those are pretty good. I've had a lot of questions about the seasonal pet. And uh, so these are them. They're Feasting Samurai, Dragon Plant, and Alice One. And what Alice One does is makes it so that all member services gain an additional effect. When settling Clockwork Belay games, there's a 25% chance to settle the rewards one additional time. This can only be triggered once, and this takes effect immediately after member services and lasts for the duration of this game. And so what that means is as long as you have her active, when you select the thing at the start of the beacon or the map or whatever, uh, it's, this buff will persist through the entirety of the run and there's a 25% chance you get double rewards. And then this guy here, this guy has uh, something very similar. So all member services gain an additional effect each time after completing Operation Cogwheel, there's an 8% chance you get one additional Cogwheel voucher. So this basically, and this takes immediately effect immediately after selecting member services and lasts for the duration. And so this basically makes it so that you have an 8% chance of whenever you complete any of the cog wheels, I'm getting like seven of them in a map right now, you're gonna get a chance to get an additional reward tile. And the same thing here for the Feasting Samurai, is a 4% chance. Now you don't really need to leave these guys out. Uh, they do have like good, like normal drop quantity stuff. And they have like uh, additional drop quantity for doll security enemies. But for the most part, I just switch right back to my money setup. It's a little bit different. I have Surgeon Gold. Uh, he's almost level six now. And we have our buddy, Happy Chonky. And then I'm using Idling Weasel Cherry Blossom, uh, mostly just because this guy is giving us additional Ember drop quantity. Those ultimate Embers would be pretty nice, but I'm not really sure necessarily what to put in here. Maybe we'll actually switch over to Alice so that we can get some additional points over here. But uh, let me know what you guys are using for your money setup and uh, maybe we'll adjust mine as well. And so for other stuff, just real quick, my DPS setup is looking like this right now for train and then XP setup, I was using Anthem and then X the Otter for rock and then the plaintive ball of thread. And then for the city, we have to have the city stuff for Mistville, we have the Mistville stuff for Nightmare. I don't actually have Shepherd. I didn't spend all that much on uh, that particular season, so I don't have that. And we've already shown you the money one. So let me go see, let me know if you guys have any questions in the comments down below. Once again, if you wanna get the auto settings here, you do have to get the battle pass. And I believe this gives you a whole bunch of extra plans here as well. But you can also bind these to uh, hotkeys on your computer. So I actually have mine bound to like my numpad buttons. So like number one here would be the XP, number two would be COG. So if I like need previously, in previous seasons, I would just switch whenever I needed to. But now you don't have to do that. Hopefully this video helped you out and we'll check you next time.